Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> so the next singer, uh, I think, it's two, it's it's two singers. It's Arma'an or Arman Malik and Jonita Gandhi. Yet again, the T series mixtape. I didn't know this was a thing. This right. is the first time I've ever been exposed to It's the to most the popular YouTube channel. My God. On the platform, I think. I've been living on the rock my and whole life. And if they're not number one, I think they're probably like number two or three. God, yeah, yeah. cool. And this song is called, uh, apologies if I'm mispronouncing it, Mayin Agar Kahun, Boldona Sara. Boldona Sara. And it has a lyric video. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's English, very popular in, the, in India. I think it is. You think? I think it is. Right. Maybe, yeah, we may... Maybe in the capital, I don't know. Right, right, okay. Sometimes I watch vlogs from there. <laughs> They're fun, no? Yeah, it's a different world, dude. It is, it's fun. I just don't think I'll be able to handle the food. Oh. Fair enough. So does everybody sing like that? Wow, okay, so thin, length... Oh. oh, no, well, you got a lot of, like, soul there. Shut up, is this gonna be R&B? Or soul, sorry. Rhythm and blues. Wow! Yes, 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 turn up. No, 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 just, just by that saxo. That saxo bought my heart. It was talking to my soul. Do it again, senor. God. What a beautiful studio, I'm obsessed. I love you this can guy. do so much this with guy's that. Awesome. Ooh, that and the way this is freaking mixed. You know what I also get? I think Chef Kiss. I think this is like insane music. I, uh-huh. like, I think that I don't know because you know we, we actually base it off on what you guys recommend us to. Yes. But I think you've actually got elite taste in music. Yeah, this is like <laughs> seven stars out of five. I agree. I agree. I, I don't know, I could be tripping. Maybe all music is like that. I have no idea. Me neither, but, but Dude, what the fuck? That saxo arrangement, that is so exquisite. It is. It's like, it's, it's selling you a freaking luxurious brand and then package, packaging it up with like freaking silk ribbons and like saying, yeah, take it, you Delivered know? Delivered by a beautiful woman. I know. Holding a puppy. Basically. <laughs> and a cherry on top, you know, because why not? Expensive. Yeah. It, like, it sounds expensive. God, this is unbelievable. This is great. I'm a fan of that guy. What's his name? Arman. Arman Malik. That's unbelievable. Ah, I think it's work. two songs. I think that I got it. I I'll think do it like I a understood. Type of thing. No, it's like a mashup. That's it. Go on. It's a mashup. I think this is what it is. Please correct me if I'm wrong Good because thing. I said that very adamantly. I will, I will check the lyrics first. <laughs> Actually, I'm already a fan of everything that they have done so far. Like, apparently, it seems I'm a fan of the Indian music industry. Because <laughs> they don't neglect minor percussionists. Indeed. Well, it's huge in their culture, in their music. Right. In their folk music. It's all about minor percussion. That's it's true, never right? been about the drums. It's have about you... the drumming minor. So, like, it. rhythmic. It's very rhythmic. Yeah. Because right? I think the only Indian music I've ever heard is more like the... Tang, 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 like that that's, type of stuff. that's Punjabi, Bollywoodish like style. Oh, right. Yeah. Where, where it sounds, I don't know what instruments they use, but it sounds kind of conga ish. Yeah, it sounds, I, how can I, uh, folkloric. To, I, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. yeah. But I really don't know any. 
So no, I don't know. Don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to say like whether. Yeah, minor percussion is a huge deal for them. I have no idea. Uh, no, I know. I know for a fact. I I had to do a few casting calls for, for uh, oh, yeah, you did, b- right? Bollywood uh, here in London. Um, yeah, and I had to like do a little bit of like investigation just to like be fit for the audition. And yeah, like popular music would be like yeah Punjabi or Bollywood. That sound that you describe. Is that pop? Over there. I don't know. It's it's like a section is of, of India itself that it's really adamant of that. The north. That's what someone said. Yeah, and well there you go, you know more than me. I don't know. No, <laughs> uh, you know more than me. Uh, but yes, please do explain a little bit more, but um I have never been exposed to this type of music before. Because this it, is, I mean, I'm just well, saying I mean obviously yeah, we just said that, but I, I mean like uh they don't neglect minor percussionists mm. and that that not many industries do that but folk music sorry it's very minor percussion heavy right yeah not many industries yeah pray so much minor percussionists and give them so much time and, and mm. space i don't know why it doesn't happen anymore anyways go on it's really great though this is awesome Hello, this mother <laughs> like that secret garden yes or in freaking harry potter but moving on secret garden though i agree i they're, agree what are they Nor- norwegian i, I think nordic, they're, Nor- are they? yeah, they're, like they're totally nordic or are, or are they american irish? i feel like they're irish no idea I don't think secret garden yeah that's what it reminded me of I, I, all of a sudden i was in a fantasy movie yeah well the whole song is like a fantasy movie oh please mother if you could find out please <laughs> It's gorgeous. See the length again. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. Sacred Garden in Nordic. Thanks, mother. Thank you, mother. Boss. Ah, sorry, guys. I have to find out. I love, I love percussions, and I don't recognize that. I've never seen that in my life. Gle- Google Lens it. Google and I think Lens. I've played. Well, I know. Apparently, I haven't played even a, a minuscule part of every percussion instrument. Not even instrument. a third of all the instruments in the world. And I thought I had. But no. <laughs> I'm gonna Google Lens it. Yeah, I need to know what that is. Yeah, yeah, Google Lens it. This instrument right here. It's like a... S- uh-huh, I got it. It's like a snare with... Not a snare. No, oh, it just no, gives it, you a snare, yeah, right? Yeah, it looks like a snare for, for the Google Lens. But it's... Mm? doesn't say what it is. But it's not a snare. It's no. nowhere near close to a snare. How interesting. My God. That if any, is... If anyone can let me know. Because that one I have seen music. before... A, a, uh, the Which one on the one? right, I forget the name in English. This? Yeah. 
Uh, and this. I have no idea what that is. It looks, it looks like, like a, a steel pan, <laughs> doesn't it? Like the top, it looks like it's made out of steel. That's so cool. Anyways, I am, I'm out of my depth here. This is absolutely wonderful. There's not an ounce of twanginess. Zero. None. Her her uh, uh, sound is actually very filtered through the tilting of her larynx. And she's uh, obviously a natural soprano. But she's taking advantage of the tilting of the larynx to uh, maximize the melody. But in, in the one before, where she was utilizing the twanginess to maximize... Trail. Yeah. Right. To maximize... The, the 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 melody itself so, she um uh, Jonita. Jonita is more breathy i like the name i love it too yeah. it's really fun yeah it sounds fun yeah. uh but she's way breathier she has a lot more of that i, I would think like western dies uh, kind of riffs and runs but a little bit just a little hint because everything else is so peculiar to her it's really awesome oh cool <laughs> This is why you need a minor percussion. Oh, the vocal arrangement is just absolutely insane. What do you call a pandereta in, in English? A tambourine. You see, this is this is one of like the huge benefits of like, for example, minor percussion, and the, one of the reasons I feel uh, it shouldn't never be neglected because it gives such depth mm. to things. The reason why you feel like all of a sudden there is more emphasis in that, you know, what you would call a chorus here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the chorus. It is the but it would be the chorus right and the reason why you feel there is an emphasis in both rhythmicality but also inflection in the singers and all of a sudden everything turns bigger gross it's because simply that what do you call it tambourine tambourine is that what you call it in, in english yes Pandereta. Mm -hmm. right that tambourine because it sounds like a heavy hi-hat <laughs> that's right right but it, there's no hi-hat it's just the tambourine so that it's such a it's such a, a call of attention mm -hmm. you know it's such a call to action for rhythmicality it just pisses me off that nowadays <laughs> everyone here in like in like america the uk they <laughs> never involve a minor percussionist yeah i see that you know? though, yeah not just because i'm jobless but <laughs> <laughs> not just because of that <laughs> i'm not joking but yeah i i huge props to everyone who arranged and play that big again yeah sure no problem my pleasure <laughs> So Arman Malik and Jonita Gandhi. Arman, I think. Arman. What's this sort of like a ginormous deal? This sort of collaboration? Because it I feels would like think it. it would be. How, how many views has it got? Nine know, million maybe views. ten. I think this was a big deal. I would say this was a big deal. That was a big deal in my life. Well, all of this stuff that we've checked out is all going to my playlist. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Dude, that 11-minute performance. That would play on loop. I'm adding that to. We're playing that tonight. That is awesomeness. Anyway.